Now, let us go through the other management wax. Clean the sheep shed once in a day. Collect the pellets and waste fodder and heap at a distance. Washing the shed is not recommended. The shed remains dry since the pellets are dry and the amount of urine is less. It is better if the sheep are kept in the paddock in the daytime. Floor of the shed should be dry always. Prepare a mixture of lime powder 98% and ground copper sulphate 2%. Spread this 2 to 3 times in rainy season and twice in summer. This keeps the floor dry and avoids the growth of pathogens. Formalin fumigation is not in practice in sheep sheds. Eve is given bath once before mating and once after 15 days. Give bath two to three times in summer if the sheep get dirty. But avoid bath from June to December. Otherwise, sheep develops cold. Dirt will not reach the skin since it has enough wool cover. Dip the sheep in a tank with suitable insecticide for the control of ectoparasites like lice, ticks, etc. Spraying the same solution or injecting chemicals like ivermectin is also in practice. Shearing of the wool once in a year is necessary for good health of the sheep. Good rams are in great demand, but castrate the other rams which are not useful for reproduction within six months. This gives more growth and good quality mutton. Sheep need less water, that too in rainy season. But in summer, each adult sheep brings four to five liters of water. Keep clean water in the paddock, in the tub or water channel. Sheep install fed system, develops extra flat growth of hooves like this. This gives trouble in walking. Cut off this with a suitable cutter. Avoid excess cutting, which may cause bleeding. This procedure is called hoof trimming. Pellet has more nutrients than cow dung. Hence, it is in good demand. It has 1.93% nitrogen, 1.3% phosphorus, and 2.31% potash. Keeping the sheep on the farm for one night will give good crop for two years. Manure collected in the sheep farm may be used for fodder in other crops. It fetches 2000 rupees per tractor load if sold. <laughs>